Again, this is your 145-pound amateur bout. A horrifying sexual assault in Windward, Oahu. The victim, under 10 years old. 28-year-old Jai Trosh is facing a number of charges, including kidnapping and sexual assault after allegedly attacking the girl at a public housing complex in Ahuimanu. Our Allison Blair spoke to witnesses who recounted the horrific details. Sources say multiple 911 calls came in from witnesses who saw the suspect drag the girl into the men's restroom at the community complex and lock the door. It was 3.30 Monday afternoon at Ho'okipa Kahalu Housing off Ahuimanu Street. This guy, I mean, he just showed up at my house. He looked like he was on something, I'm not sure. He just started asking for my sister all of a sudden and I'm like, I don't know who you are. For privacy, Sasha asked we conceal her identity. I asked my sister about it and she said that he used to stalk her and he's just not good news. Ten minutes later? All I heard from my housing, like this was like a good 500 feet away. I could hear her screaming so loud. Law enforcement sources say Jai Trosh forced the victim, who is under the age of 10, into the men's restroom at the complex's community center. The 28-year-old then allegedly locked the door and attacked her. Her shorts was all torn up, like ripped off. The other teenagers, boys out here, were trying to help, and then they were calling the parents, the other adults, to come help. When the suspect tried to flee... There were two young teenagers, teenage boys, that were chasing after this guy. He had shirt off, hat off. He came with a skateboard, but left that as well. But they were chasing him up the road. Police captured Troj just down the street from the complex. Police say he's charged with kidnapping, attempted first-degree sex assault, and third-degree sex assault. This morning, police were present at the scene, and the bathroom where the alleged attack happened was locked. In a statement, the property management company said the suspect doesn't live at the complex and wasn't a resident's relative or guest, adding they are working very closely with the authorities and the family to assist in any way possible to ensure the victim receives the justice that she deserves, a feeling shared by residents. Things like that shouldn't happen here. If you have any information that could help police in this case, you're asked to call Honolulu Crime Center.